How's it hanging? Welcome back to our van life adventure. Uh, so this is going to be the first flying episode we have on this trip. We just rolled into, uh, I guess it's Winslow, Arizona, where the Meteor Crater Impact site is. So we have a launch site that's probably about a mile away from the Crater Impact. And hopefully this afternoon, when it's calm and warm, we're going to launch set up fly over the crater and it's gonna be epic but before we get into that big announcement today we are officially dropping the second line of limited edition merch on the website you guys rocked it last time this time what we got in store is limited edition van life t-shirts and hats super stoked with how those graphics came out so as of today that stuff is going live it will be available for two weeks pre-order so in that time period make sure you place your order and at the end we'll start fulfillment and it'll ship out to everyone anyways today um, we basically don't have anything to do which is awesome because we've been driving for the past four days so what we're gonna do is there's like a ghost town down the road we're gonna check that out and then probably just chill set up our gear and hopefully send it tonight by the way the solar is doing awesome we've had like two days that were completely cloudy and we didn't even really take anything out of the battery. It was still 12.9 volts, which is like full. this out. We were originally planning on launching from that site that we camped at and woke up this morning, but we came over here because there's like some old rundown ghost town and some ruins that we have yet to check out. But this spot right over here kind of off the beaten trail looks really nice to launch. So I think this is going to be our go-to. Hopefully we'll get Jacqueline up and uh, fly over the crater. In addition to the crater, there's this giant canyon. Well, it's actually kind of small, but you can fly in it and you can actually fly under a trestle, which is over that way, craters that way. So hopefully we'll get to hit both of those tonight. The best piece of advice I have for someone trying to succeed in the film industry or any creative space is if you're doing what everyone else is doing, you're doing it wrong. something and I land in the meteor crater. Oh yeah. Engine does not like these uh, conditions. Something's weird with her. All right, so the meteor crater is straight ahead of me. A lot of times when I do these more interesting, like, 
geographical videos. A lot of people ask for like history on the site. And I'm gonna read from Wikipedia so we get a little bit of background information about the meteor crater before we get there. Diameter is 0.737 miles or 1.186 kilometers across. Age, it's 50,000 years old. Dang, that's an old crater. She's been exposed, she's been drilled. I don't know what that means. Check it out, dude. There she is. So right now the wind conditions are relatively strong. It's stronger up at this altitude than it was on the ground. And uh, it's a little choppy, surprisingly. So I'm gonna feel it out and see how close we wanna get to the edge here. Some of you guys might remember one of my more popular videos was from like two years ago and I was out here on a trip uh, but my GoPro kept corrupting so I only had limited footage of this flight so it's awesome to return look at this guy dang you can notice there's some spots around the surrounding area like directly ahead of me there's like smaller impact sites I guess from pieces that broke off and created their own smaller craters. That's insane. Who gets to experience this from this view? That edge, I don't know if you can tell, but it's a sheer cliff and then it kind of smooths out. Looks like my chase cam is working relatively well. I whipped that thing up with some foam board, freaking pre-handed it. On a calm, calm night, I'm sure you could fly all up in it and just buzz down in the bottom. But with the wind conditions the way they are now and the bit of turbulence I'm feeling, I don't want to risk that. But I will, <laughs> I'll fly out over the center and I think I'll throw a quick barrel roll. Just because you gotta do what you gotta do, you know? I feel so exposed just sitting in the middle of this. All right, let's do it real quick and then we'll get out of here. <laughs> Freaking epic! <laughs> that was badass. Such an epic visual. All right, I just dumped my trims so we're gonna get better penetration back into the wind. I think that's enough shenanigans for out here. I wanna show you guys this trestle, if possible. And my hands are gonna be really, really cold by the time we get there. Look at this little guy. Little brick house doohickey. In the middle of nowhere. All right, we're just gonna cruise up this small canyon. Eventually, when it gets to the highway ahead where I launched from, it starts to open up into a much bigger canyon. And if I can, I'm going to feel out the wind conditions when we get there. I really want to rip down the, uh, the bigger canyon. Oh, check it out. Right here in front of us is where I flew the mini quad earlier. Through these ruins. Through that little gap in the door. <laughs> Moments ago, there was a mini quad flying through that gap. Now I'm flying above that gap. There we go. This is the bigger canyon I was talking about. We got power lines up ahead, so I'm not gonna play around just yet. And the wind still feels a little funky. It's hard to judge how the wind's gonna react in a canyon like that. All right, here we go. Got the canyon about to open up in front of me. The trestle is up a little bit farther north, and it looks like there's a train on the way. So I'm gonna feel it out here. Dang, look at that. So freaking sick. <laughs> I don't remember ever being this sketched out flying here before.
look at that view. So gnarly. Holy moly. <laughs> Only one way out now. Ew! There goes the train. Unreal. If there was ever something to make you feel alive. <laughs> Check this out. If there was ever something to make you feel small, too. Like the size of these boulders. Under a moving train. Who does this? What? There's a fire extinguisher down here. Dang. Insane. Off the charts. How about that? No room for error in here. All right, I'm gonna go under once more, um, and then I think we're gonna start heading back. I'm really cold, and it's gonna be right on time for sunset. <laughs> wow. That is a surreal feeling. Getting that dive and dropping down below the bridge and into the canyon, you just lose all that altitude in one like 270 degree turn. Freaking insane. I really hope the chase cam is still rolling because this is going to be some epic footage. <laughs> oh man, what a day. Wake up in the van, fly some quads, explore with Jacqueline, come out here and do some epic flying. Sad Jacqueline didn't get to make it. We will definitely get her motor running in tip top shape. I also talked to Jacqueline about like the fact that she really still is very much a beginner. I think she's got about 25 flights. Come on, shivering. Adventure flying like this is a different territory, different category. I just told her ahead of time, like, let's pick your flights, pick your battles. Uh, if a launch site looks sketchy or if you're not feeling it or anything, let's not do it because there's no sense in getting hurt out here, breaking gear, trying to push yourself. If you guys are still tuning in and you're digging this video, drop a fat thumbs up. I don't know that I've had a, a day or a flight experience this epic in a while. This is some prime A plus flying. Going to get a little bit of altitude, take advantage of the tailwind. And I see where we're going right ahead. Got to post a quick snap to my Instagram. If you guys aren't following me on Instagram, it's at TuckerGot. And uh, I'm doing pretty live updates on there, like van life stuff, where we're going, what we're doing. Uh, so definitely check that out. I would say we've got about 10 more minutes before the sun sets. That's the gas station we gripped earlier with the quad. Oh, I didn't even see this from the ground. We got this big building, but there's like a, a graffiti pool. That's pretty dope. I'm gonna buzz the van a couple times, see if Jacqueline can snag a sweet picture. Look at our solar panels. They're working so well. 
a lot of people suggested that we should uh, put an alternate charger off the alternator. So if we don't have sun, we can charge the battery. With what we're using it for, we haven't even really touched the potential of the battery. It runs the fridge 24 seven. We can charge our laptops and phones, no problem. What an amazing flight. <laughs> Got the meteor over there. Got the canyon out to my left, going up to the train tracks. The sun is about to set. I think I'm gonna go ahead and kill it and come in for a landing because I am honestly so cold. <laughs> Good thing I didn't keep going. <laughs> I think that's about all she wrote for the day. I did some editing, Jacqueline did some homework. Um, we stocked up on propane, got six one pound bottles because it's currently 23 degrees, getting down to maybe 15. Tomorrow, we're gonna head to Flagstaff. We're gonna investigate some hiking spots, uh, a lava tube underground thing. After that is on to Sedona, where we would definitely be hiking and flying. So, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Be sure to check out the new limited edition merch in the description. Huge shout out to the Patreons. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye -bye.